we started in this beautiful road canyon for about 15 miles and it's um the old highway going to yellowstone and it is iconic it is breathtaking it was super cool um there were a couple guys that got real eager early and um i didn't want to do too much thinking like realizing we still have you know five or six hours to go um but uh you know the race started to break apart on some early hills um there's a lot of vert in the beginning and a lot of vert in the end and the middle is a lot flatter um <clears throat> but uh you know, there was a selection down to six of us and down to, then down to about four of us pretty within like the first hour and a half. Um, and that kind of settled in there. And then, you know, it was a stark realization that we had quite a long way to go. Um, and then, uh, you know, the course, the way it's laid out, I mean, it, it is already an iconic gravel grinder and one that I would put on anyone's bucket list just because, um, you got everything. You got amazing reservoirs and vistas, um, slot canyon style riding at first, and then you got like smooth highway, near highway gravel, and then you got like chunky stuff, you got sandy stuff, you got steep pitches and twisty technical stuff. Um, you, uh, yeah, every, every, every type of terrain you could imagine, you know? So it was always kind of, it, mentally it goes by a lot faster than when you think about a hundred mile gravel grinder. Um, so it was a really joy, really a joy to ride. Um, and then, uh, you know, we kind of hit this sandy part at about mile 60 called the Oregon Basin. Um, and I could tell that the guys were kind of struggling to hold my wheel through uh, through some of like the uh, the washes and, and when you really had to pick a good line. So I kind of, it's a little early, but that's where, where I made my move and just uh, started to really open it up and pour it on. Um, and like a, a proper race, this thing is in the tail. It's so hilly and so hard. Um, and today it was actually a block headwind. Um, the whole climb, all of all the pitches. So that made it extremely difficult. Um, that said, uh, you know, I was able to increase my gap and, and hold on to the finish. And then we were actually rewarded with a little bit of a tailwind finish. So that the last six miles on the road doesn't hurt so bad. Um, Come back to downtown City Park and it's time for some beers and some, some tacos.